everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, Yoga and Ascension number 28. Uh, brought to you by Sabin Resources. Dave Sabin, our camera and artistic director. Dave. Thank you, Madeline. And I'm Madeline, your yogi. Tonight uh, we're going to use a chair, obviously, and I thought we might try our rollers just a little bit. For those of you who don't have rollers, a lot of this can be done without one, so no worries. Okay, let's come to seated position and and take a nice, nice tall bath. Rest our hands in our lap and begin our breathing just in through the nose and out through the nose. Maybe place one hand on the belly so when you exhale, you draw the navel toward the spine to get rid of all the stale air. Here we go, soften your gaze, inhaling. Exhale. Inhaling, nice big exhale. Always let the exhale be a little longer than your inhale. The exhale breath is a quieting, soothing breath. Two more. and relax. Let's do a couple of neck releases to get started. Just dropping the chin to the chest. Inhaling up. Drop your ear over to your left shoulder. And up. On over to the right shoulder. And up. Chin to chest again. Now this time just rock the chin side to side. Coming back to the center, lift. And last time, drop your ear over to your left shoulder. And come up and drop over to your right shoulder. And come up. Let's do some rotations. So, coming around, front, side, and back. Loosening up the hips. And one more in this direction and switch directions. Side, front, around and back. Side, front, around and back. And last time. Crossing your left knee over your right. Let's do a twist over to your left side. Maybe lift the arm and gaze up. And then come down. Switch the other side, right over left. Hold on to the knee, turn, and lift the arm and gaze up. And come down. Scoot forward a little bit on your chair. Lifting the uh, left arm up, thread the needle. Let the head follow the arm. Here's two. Inhale, lift. Three, exhale down and switching sides. Right arm, inhaling, lift. Exhale, one, and lift. Exhale, two, and lift. Exhale, three, and come back. Let's take a moment for gratitude, just naming a couple things to ourselves for which we're grateful today. to standing, set your chair to the side. Uh, if you don't have a roller, keep your chair for a little balancing. And reach for the old roller. <sighs> Drape your arms over the roller. <clears throat> and just let your hands kind of flop. Widen your stance a little bit. Take a nice breath in and exhale forward fold. Inhale, come up, and exhale back into camel. Sit your chin towards your chest, and come up. 
Inhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back into camel, chin to chest. And come up, last time, breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale into camel, chin to chest. And back to neutral. Using the roller for a little balancing, just take that outside leg out and back, out, fix your gaze, out and back and hold, breathe, and come down. Thank God for this roller, huh? <laughs> okay, here we go. Out, back, out, out, and back. Out and hold, fix your gaze, breathe, and come down. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to forward fold, come down to our mat, do some cat-cow stretches, and then we're gonna hop on the roller. So nice breath in as you lift up, exhaling forward fold, Drop your hands down, drop to your knees, and come into some cat-cow stretches. Exhaling out. Two more. Really move that tailbone, and come on down. <clears throat> Reaching for our roller. We're going to start with the roller on our necks. Step your feet up. Press your hands down by your sides and just begin to rock earlobe to earlobe, side to side. This should feel pretty good. I was amazed about how good it felt haven't been on this thing ever since the virus. So back and forth. And then come to stillness in the center. Move the roller now to the head bone. So no part of the neck is on your roller. And lift up, chin to chest, stretching the neck. Lift up, chin to chest. Inhale, lift. Exhaling, chin to chest. One more, inhale, lift. Exhale, chin to chest. And bring yourself up to seated. Whoa, come back. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start rolling down the back. So, crawl forward just a little bit because you're gonna be making your way down. Bring yourself to your shoulders, up high, but not on your neck. Cradle the head so you're supported. Lift those hips and just begin to Go back and forth in the upper back. You can go down below um, the shoulder blades if you want to. And then come down to the shoulder blades and just rock a little bit over to the right. And just nudge a little bit in that place and then roll over to your left and nudge a little bit in there. And then go down just a tiny bit more, but not all the way to your waist. Tip to the right a little bit, see if you can get your lats in there. And then tip to the left. And come down and just rest for a moment. <clears throat> Bring your hands down for your side and rest. <sighs> takes a lot of ab work, doesn't it? <laughs> we're getting an ab workout and we don't even know it. Okay, we're going to go down to the hips now. So, bring the roller all the way to your back. Push yourself up so that you are on the hips. So you're not on any part of your waist or anything. And just begin to rock side to side so you're massaging the glutes back and forth. Mm -hmm. 
and then coming to the center, rock over to your right, make a couple of little circles, and then rock over to your left with your knees, draw a couple of circles, and then stepping your feet down, bring it right there to where the hip meets the top of your thigh, your hamstring. Widen your legs and back and forth, massaging the hamstring, in and out. Point your toes, now flex your toes. And then come to seat, to stillness and rest for a moment. Breathing in and breathing out. Okay, moving back to your glutes. Hug your knees in, lift, and drop your right leg down, hug your left knee in. Push that right leg away from you as you hug this in. You're gonna get a big stretch right in your hip crease and your psoas muscles, okay? Lift the leg, slowly allow it to descend using your ab muscles. Dragging the heel along the mat, draw the leg in, hug it in, push that extended leg away from you till you feel that stretch. Lift the leg and allow it to descend. Last time, drag the heel, bring the knee in, lift, push the leg away, and come down. Okay, switch it up. Extend your left leg out at an angle, hug the right leg in. Pushing the leg away, hug the leg in so you're feeling a stretch in your hamstring and in your hip crease. Lift the leg, flex the foot, slowly allow it to descend. Drag the leg along the mat, hug it in, hug, push away, lift, and release. One more, <clears throat> slide it in, hug, push the other one away, lift, and release. Uh, okay, one more little move here. You might want to raise up here your pant legs. Bring the uh, roller to your calf muscles. This is going to take a little bit of, I can't do that. <laughs> Go ahead and cross your ankle and rock the leg side to side right on the calf muscle. Back and forth back and forth. Then kick it over to the end and just roll it out a little bit. Okay, switch. Right ankle over left. Roll it out. And then begin just roll that calf muscle. And come to stillness. Now you come into an inversion. Okay, your inversion looks like this. <clears throat> and I will read you the message for the day. This is about living one day at a time. You know that if you're still talking about yesterday, you probably haven't done much today. By living your life one day at a time, you live all the days of your life. You do not waste time on the past or the future. Now, if you think that nobody cares whether you're living or not, just try skipping a couple of car payments. Namaste.